<clears throat> Wait, so let me look at this comp. They have Gragas Yasuo. Soul Lanes. And we gave... Kisante, Aphelios, Lulu, Wukong. All right, it's lost. Let's go next game. The fan vote actually, unironically, voted for G2, chat. Thoughts? some vision control with that wart. They are aware and might be the wraparound here. Trying to take down Bin before he can get the full shove in. Bin, however, a hook lands. No jinx. Zap land. The root from the gravitum, oh. Down, oh. Dead. Wait. Oh my god. I thought Bin was fucking dead. How did he live? Oh no. Wow. Oh, okay. 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 Wait. Wait. Two. Three. He will be able to decoy to safety. But that's disaster for BLG for G2. The fact that they end up giving all those kills across the bot side and getting nothing on the top end. Oh, yeah. If the if the top lane gang You're going to miss They can still teleport back, but at the very least you get something. Oh. You go for a top. Faker would have reacted W that E. Caps has not been turbo smurfing this tourney, but he's been on some weird picks. I'm not considering Yasuo to be one of those weird picks. More like Nautilus mid. Dude, I, like, Nautilus has not looked good mid. In terms of, like, I don't know, fucking KDA, I guess, on the players. Like, most of them kind of just feed. And then they might still win the game, but, like, it's never pretty. So, like, I feel like it just makes the player look worse. Caps was able to move first into the river, and with the fact that Mickey and Hans Sama pushed in Alk and on, they've started this objective. Just gonna be oh, awkward as fuck. Come at me. For Shun, smite available to him. Level four, four. Yike. The engage on. Oh, oh. Away to safety. They trade kills one for one. Oh my God, Caps is. Oh, oh he's actually fine. Okay. Still holding on to that last breath, waiting for a knockup. Hans Sama, level five. Wait. Stepping into the pit. That's a smite. No smite. What the fuck, BLG? Wait a sec. Uh, can Elk do this? Oh! Alright, I guess he can. Oh my! Both kills for G2 are on Blitz, that's great. Yep. His hook is gonna hit twice as hard. Do you know how much that is? Do you know how much damage that is? That's double damage. Surprised they actually... Wow, that was fucking close, actually. Oh. Yeah, that's... Not exactly what I would have guessed. Yeah, because if you fall this but, behind and go, uh, uh -oh. go up, like the BLG comp, if they can just scrap you continuously, it's for this composition for G2 to start, like, thinking about Hook. comebacks. They need to but they see stop him. the bleeding, stop giving over kills, easy peasy, that's, like, obvious to everyone. But more importantly, I need to see this yasuo Gragas combination paying off. If they can get to Elk on the back line, maybe there's enough time. Oh. He takes the hook like a real support. Holy fuck, dude. Every support in the game lets me get hooked there. Every support in the world. Yep, Elk says thank you for your service. We will remember you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Maokai got the kill? Oh, no, dude. Oh! He's no flash. Wait. Where's the damage? Oh, my God. 
Kama needs a few more seconds before it's available. Yagao will steal oh! the Wait, I swear Hans was dead. No? What the f Bro, they're so... Oh my god. Bro, they were so separated. G2? Okay, went on... Maybe it's disengaging. Maybe not. Maybe they just do fucking zero damage. <gasps> Okay. Not that bad. Yo, we going? Oh! Dude, no way does Lulu just die four times in a row. Well, I guess it's three. Wait, this is getting actually awkward, bro. Lulu took the hook and he's just chain died. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! Dude, we hooking! I don't know if you win that. Let's walk away. I don't know how to say his name. Fuck, man. Sun? I don't think it's Sun. It's got to be more than just a Sun, like S. It's pronounced Billy? Oh. Billy, Billy, Gaming Billy. Look at Alex's positioning. If you can't get to him, you can't win the fight. The rest of them standing in front of him. Ghost and Flash available. Nature's grasp. I think that's fantastic from him. Perfect. Managing to split up. Vic, can this up? Wait, I got this not done? He goes golden thanks to the stopwatch. Broken plate holds. Oh, he's dead. He gets it. He gets it dead. That's a snowball. It's a jinx. 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 Oh my god. Where'd he go? Oh. He has flash. Pelios. Wait. Winnable. Why is Mickey hitting so many hooks? Jinx with a shitload of gold does out carry Aphelios, who's not also turbo fed. If they're both turbo fed, Aphelios wins. It's because he can burst. Or if Jinx doesn't really have burst. Just needs resets based on kills. Two down. Holy shit, that hair. You guys saw that hair, right? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, Romain. Romain's hair. This is awkward. Oh, wait. Oh no, Hans is getting fucked in the dick. No, not the Wukong. Why did they only kill Lulu? In the blink of an eye, BLG dominate G2, and with one more kill, they will ace this fight. Everyone went for Elk, but he spooked. He hopped over the wall just as everyone. Damn, that ended so badly. Dude, I, I was thinking that fight star wasn't even that good for BLG. Like, Wukong was beating Maokai, and he ulted him. I was like. I was like, Wukong ult on Maokai? That's kind of weird. And then he fucking died, and then Wukong still murdered Jinx. 
It just meant that very quickly the fight snowballed decidedly in the face. Look at this shit. I want to see how he got in Jinx. Wait, he doesn't even have his ult and he kills Jinx. What the fuck does Jinx die to? Oh, he gets. Oh my god. He, he gets Maokai ulted from Silas. And then he gets hit by Aphelios for a little bit. Really didn't do that much. Actually, it wasn't really even Wukong. Okay. It was just awful from the beginning, I guess. Wow, he actually built the hurricane on Jinx. Most people have just been sitting on Zeal. Which is some weird ass trend. But has been occurring. Trying to play back and forth. Has left the dragon as they know G2 started. There we go. Yeah, but now look BLG. They're fine walking in here. There isn't a huge amount of vision, but they don't have the jungler. This thing's just dead. He's been dead. Not quite. Oh my god, they're all dead. Oh my god. What the fuck? Wow. I didn't see that again, dude. Was that just Aphelia's Infernal? That's what I'm assuming. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? Okay. Well, they don't lose now. Oh my god. Dude, it was actually such delayed fucking damage, too. BLG are so happy to go in. You've got a bunch of AOE from Yaku. The hell? You've got the, uh, Wukong is in there. And then, as you say, the Infernum, too. It's so much damage. And uh, two different sides of the same coin there in the crowd. <laughs> Duality of fandom. BLG is celebrating. They still maintain control. 4,000 gold up. They got that dragon to boot. They've still got three towers under their belt. G2 will get a small piece back, at least taking that bottom outer. Now they have to try to defend. And more importantly for me, Three items complete for both of these bot laners. GP. While, yes, G2 are in a difficult situation. What are we looking for here? What are we doing? Oh no, Mickey. He's so slow. Particularly when you get these mountain drakes, when you start stacking them, one of the biggest win conditions for G2, which is kill Elk, becomes oh. so much harder as the ultimate. So I love that hijacks away from Malkai the Malkai executing the whole team. Oh. oh. Not enough, boys. Not the enough. Malkai okay, actually got the wave. <laughs> I will not yield! Mickey's up in three seconds time. G2 are holding on by hmm. the skin of their team. Yeah, no wave and no AD carry here for BLG. Maybe they don't lose. Down a little bit though, so I think for G2, they will lose the inhibitor, but I imagine BLG will then back away after this one. The fact that Elk went that deep to try and kill Hansama. Nice. BLG Wait, let me go pee. It was a fantastic P, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god, Greg's getting fucking destroyed. Oh my god. Wow. Yike smoking the G2 blunt. 
close until it just was not. BLG, they flashed the PX logo. Damn. They're looking to close out the game one. Fantastic, chaotic, entertaining, and it's BLG that strike first. Almost four, uh, 45. God damn. Does Hans look lost in these fights? I don't really think so. Elk is playing Aphelios with a Lulu in the team fight. But Jinx is playing with a Blitz. So, like, by default, Aphelios just has Gig Appeal. And, you know, he's getting speed buffs. He can maneuver a lot, around a lot more. Whereas Jinx kind of has to rely on the hook to even do anything. But, like, watch as the fight plays out, right? Like, this is the start of the fight. His top laner is getting railed. Like, who does he hit here? Like, like he's in a good spot. He walks up, traps, gets autos. He does zero damage. The tank, he Ws this dude. He's getting autos in. He's the only guy doing damage. He hits Silas. Silas chains in. He's trying not to get hit by, like, this guy. Like, look at this dude fucking going in. Going in crazy. The cons is playing well. Like, what do you even do here? And she gets fucking Gale Force flashed on by Aphelios. Nothing to do with Jinx or Hans. Shouldn't cap save Windwall to stop Aphelios assault. He used it here. He only has rank like. 24. What is this? Rank fucking two? He might have assumed he had a higher rank of it. Rank one. Mm. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's very short. Fucking... He might have assumed it would have been bigger, like, covering most of this. Because he didn't necessarily block anything. But... If you think about it, if he tried to react to a failure stuff, he would have been knocked up in the window that he's reacting. I don't think it's really on him, if anything. It's pretty awkward. Like, if, if you're going to hindsight say, why don't you save the wind wall for the ult? Then he also has to play this completely differently. Where, like, he burns the Baron with the team. Like, he burns... And then he has to not hit this dude. Like, he has to be ready to fucking win wall. And the win wall could have stopped Silas from trying anyway. Like, maybe Silas without the win wall would have pushed a double E. I think it's too hindsight to say with a rank one wall. It's not like he didn't use it. He used it. It's not really his fault. What can he change here? I think committing to the pit is a real strategy. Maybe. Like, they don't really have vision, I guess, right? They have a little bit. Maybe maybe the Maokai ult angles down more instead of side. This actually didn't really accomplish anything, but they might not have known where Wukong is. If they don't know Wukong and they assume he's grouped, this ult catches the Baron Steel right here. Like, this stops Wukong. But I don't know if they know where he is. So, like, in theory, this Malkai ult can be down farther, which would stop some of these guys. And then, like, they're so fucking deep in here, committing instantly to five-man flashing out of the pit seems absurdly awkward. Like, do you just guarantee lose this fucking fight that you need to dip immediately like that? Like... Don't think so. I mean, like, if you stack for AoE, sure. But Wukong's not here. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even know. I, I think this is a fine play to go for. Is hooking in Kasante bad? It might have been bad. Because Kasante is the one that fucks them, honestly. I'm surprised he even gets a Q off. Like, he's silenced. He's knocked. But look, he, like... How does he get this off? Oh, wait, it's a Lulu ult? Oh, it's a Lulu ult. 
Bro, that Lulu ult fucks them. The only way they get out here, like looking at this with perfect knowledge, it might actually be a five man flash out of pit. And then and then this play works. The other thing I can think of was using Gragas ult. Like, you just chuck it here. You don't go in with Yasuo, but like I don't know, your your play is to fucking disengage them hard as hell. Get the Aphelios as far away from you as possible. I, I, I don't know. Like I, I think this is such a hard situation to read, bro. That that is super rough. Or do we actually just pick Janna? Do we think we just give Aphelios Lulu ever? I mean, there's not really much to do about it. I feel like trading Aphelios Jinx is fine. I think it's literally just because they're a better team or something, but... Or like most of the time, maybe not necessarily a series, but it's like... It doesn't actually change anything if he wasn't on Aphelios. The situations you get after attempting to take it away ban it are just so much worse than you're just trading he's rich oh wait why is mickey 1 hp oh Oh my god. But they're getting fucked. Kind of. So my eyes gonna be on cap. What can you do with scatter the week? What can you do with that high skill button on the R to find one of the squishier targets? But I think more importantly the zone control. Can Janna not just go airy, bro? Same as Lulu. Should be strong as fuck. Oh my god. Dude, this is actually really bad for Elk. No pots. Maokai counter jungling. Is this balanced? Is Maokai balanced? Thanks to that sapling toss. While that's going on, keep your eyes on the minimap. Top lane. Bin finds oh. the pressure. Chase too far. Forced a flash and broken blades been spamming the take. No, it's all tournament long. We had a couple of Ooh. dirty modes already. Scout of the week. Oh, my God. Tick, 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 and your cow escapes with his life. It's four minutes in, so I don't want to overblow this. But I do think, Chronic, that you mentioned it in the previous game, looking at the Yasuo, looking at where Yikes part, the decision making is, is Mickey's in trouble. Uh, Take it out. That's a solo kill in the bottom lane. All what? Able to punish the flashless Janna. Flame Chompers come oh down. Oh my god. Okay, he's not dead. I was going to say. He'll be channeled in caps. Is going to drop to that bottom lane. Yeah, and a good teleport from Caps, but if you're BLG, you're extremely happy. You just got a free How the fuck? Being able to deny more farm here to I mean, realistically, Lulu getting that kill in Janna's. Oh, oh. This is scary. oh. This is scary. yo, he fucked up. He fucked up. Like, he got solo gold. It was solo first blood. Not that bad. By your go in that middle lane. But this is a mess for Oak. Oh my god. Force the clans and flashes away. But this is a mess here for G2 because you need this wave to crash. So then you can actually try and achieve something. Yeah, go. You need some Roman. Yo. Shun's nearby. Shun's nearby. This is a four versus three. What are we getting here, boys? Howling Gale won't find its target. Dark Sphere followed up by the roots. Mickey's tanking the shots and G2 getting Now your go is joining. Dude, I swear Malachi was about to start tanking. I was going to freak out. Blue and purple. He's caught by the Howling Gale. That should slow down any follow-up. And G2 escape. They pull up the dive. They get the kill. And they get out. Jinx is actually pretty behind. <sighs> From all this somehow. Wait, where did he lose his CS? In the grand scheme of things, that doesn't mean much. Maybe you get the kill to bin here. Well, time to oh. all outs. Broken blades. Using the top off. That's an advance Ke over the wall. Oh my god. The Was the key down? Reminder bin lost that in the 1v1. Just get... Oh my god. 
Yikes, only level five. There's Jesus, no fuck. The rest of BLG, but he survives and outplays the 1v2. And a 2,000 gold lead is pretty heavily concentrated into your Gao and Alex hands. Yike, once again, trying to spend a little bit of time top. It is still even between oh, Ben and Broken Blade. Ben. What's going to happen here? Ben teleports in. Four members of G2 are around. He's rooted in place, locked up, held down, buying time, finds the stun. Broken Blade forced to tank it out. Nature's oh, comes down. Oh, wait. Here comes Yikau. That gets the flag. Looks fine. Broken Blade. G2 Esports get a kill. It goes to Hunt Summer as well. And now they're going to try and apply more pressure on the tower caps. Can he find the stun? Oh, he Captain does. It. Finds it. Unleashes the power. Where's the rest of the members? That goes gone. Unleash the power. The Flame Choppers will not connect. Bro. On. Has arrived to the fight Bro. as well. Mickey's going low. Thanks to the Glitter Lantern. But Bro. Is making his way top as well. He walks away. Oh, my God. G2 on full retreat now. Oh, oh no. Shun will get a kill back onto Caps. Flashes forward. Shun now looking for Hunt Summer with the Octopus. Oh my god. Cleanse comes out once more. Hunt Summer still. Yike walks up just to add another body to the pile. Oh, he lives. Okay. And G2. He fucking lives. I don't know, man. It just looks like BLG is the better team. No, not the fucking bot gap, bro. Three thousand gold on Jinx, zero, zero, zero. It's actually Jover. Holy fuck! I don't think that casters do have to pretend to not be biased. No, caster bias is like way more annoying if it's. And Mickey are so far I don't know, like, just purely there. domestic. Most, um, Gaster bias and, like, regional Texas stuff Rock makes Rock way more sense. It's like... Your region-based casters clearly rooting for their team to win. Well. The was by and they just talk about it from that perspective. There's nothing wrong with it. Really want to see patience and control yeah. from BLG. Utilize that Jax in the side lane. You've got so much damage from the rest of the comp as well. I mean, it could be done badly, but just the concept... It's fine. So, Dega, how you? Oh, hold up. Oh. oh find out. Yeah, that's an engage following onto your gal. Caps has still got the ult available. Teleport's completed. Bin and Broken Blade arriving. Four members of BLG are surrounding G2. Yo, take the wall. Take the wall, right? We still got all out. May not get no. No kill back. And Yike now flashes to safety. Howling Gale comes up. Monsoon is available. Mickey may need to pull the trigger. So incredibly uh -oh. soon. Glitterlon falls just short. Zap tags on. Oh my God. And he flashes for. Through it, Ben finds another, and BLG string together three kills as G2 run for their lives. Is that worth? This is not a commentary on the state of this game, then I don't know what is. Elk flash in for the kill on Janna. All right, I guess. Yeah, with this push, it's probably worth. It's not looking good. Get this tier two turret. Okay, I didn't realize they had Harold. I was looking at Baron timer. And I was like, they actually don't get Baron. In 20 seconds. And I hate to say it, London, but you're sounding like a library here as BLG are pushing G2. I think that's worth for sure. Now G2 trying to go a bit more standard for what we see in the meta at the moment, but that's not really working out for them. So for G2, what do they do after this? Because BLG aren't going to stop. The kills used. They just got dropped as well. Shun's thrown out the prison, but remember, this is just to keep members of G2 alive. Scatter the weak four caps as the target. He's flash. Manages to escape for another. Here comes Bin. Caps flashes over the wall. Moonlight vision. Oh. Find wait, you, wait. I feel like he's just trolling. I feel like he's just trolling. He's trolling so hard. Find the kill. They find the shutdown. They find life in London. Whoa. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Dude, oh, he, he whipped the ult. And then he was like... He was physically upset that their whole fucking team didn't die when he pressed R. So then he just gale forces in, tries to go for the autos. Holy shit. Or at least a lifeline given to G2 Esports. This is actually winnable now. 
Uh, I mean, ah, oh, fuck, Jinx is so behind. I want you to take note of what Elk is about to, well, what is about to happen here, right? Because Bin gets the flank, you get the flash, you have control of the river, you're fine. Your old misses. Holy fuck, man. He gale forces into a fucking Cassante? Oh my god. He wants Luzed. G2 smell a big moment of weakness and are able to turn that into multiple kills as well as a Baron. Please keep in mind that is a neutralizing force. G2 esports need to use. I mean, this is still going to be rough. To pick up bomb. 25 seconds on soul. I mean, it's just Kim Dixel, I guess. Seconds before the dragon soul and broken blade is the target. Shun has already used Dude, his ult. Yagao finds the charm. May need to spur a rush over the wall. And oh my god. Shun has jumped on. I guess Sedge is dead. For another kill. He secures it and finds the shutdown. Copper Bro, can they even get this? Mad as Yagao's now on the retreat. Four members of BLG stepping away. I guess they get it. I was gonna say this is the first dragon for G2. That gigantic, you might gigantic lead just want to give them soul because I don't even necessarily think they were stronger there, but they found an angle to walk in and get dragged, which ends up being the better play, I think. Well played, I guess. That's true, man. That's true. Just stash the gold as an item, sell it later, get the gold back. Easy. And we've got the showdown. 5v5 in the mid lane. Bin looking for the engage. Caps buys time. Goes gold. My god. Nature's grasp is now disconnected. So has the monsoon. Bin's running away. A straight whip and a failure. So, all right. Now he gale forces in out of anger. Out, out of pure frustration. Cannot lock anyone down. The mean light visual went completely wide. Elk didn't get the damage off. And now it's G2. Map control of Baron. Oh, they find themselves the stuff. They're actually walking up the Baron here. Like. Teleport coming back in. Been started this fight. Ran I mean, it's the more pressure than them going dragon. Three. Lot of ultimates down on either side. G2. They're starting it up again. No failure assault. It's Baron. It's an MSI 2023 Baron. But how will it end this time? I really don't hate this. I think they should be good for G2. Yep. Nice. Okay. Okay. We cooking. We cooking. Oh. Oh, the sun hits. The sun misses. We're going dragon. Hans jukes the charm. They're going in. The enemy starts the dragon. Oh my god, Hans. Don't hit it. Let them hit it. Oh! He got Mikhail's. Wait, no, he got cleansed. The cleanse. Oh! Okay, they got soul. Now what? Okay, ult. It kind of whiffs. Yeah, yeah, they win though. They win. It's a hard win. It's a hard win. Is it GG? Oh my god, the channel of disengages! And for the first time in this game, G2 They get extreme turrets here. With one of the most high value stopwatches I've seen in a long time. Maybe tier two bot. They get tier one two mid. While they did not get the soul, they got everything else that matters. Nah, this soul sucks ass, bro. It d legit doesn't matter. It unironically is probably better to spawn the Elder faster for someone to have got soul. Oh, they're not gonna go tier 2 mid? They have something to buy or what? What are we doing here, boys? We're on wolves? They lost control I mean, no mid turrets fine, I guess. They didn't have a bot wave. One another gold difference between Hansama and Elk right now. Two jungle camps. Now what? What are we buying, Jinx? What are we buying? Full BT? No shot. BF Vamp? Oh my god! BF Stopwatch. There you go. It's probably better. Agreed. Agreed. You always want that Vamp, though. Feels so cringe not having lifesteal. I don't think Jinx needs Lord Doms. I think BT's actually way better. Like, actually, much, much better, this game. He doesn't have to complete GA, he just has stopwatch. I don't think GA's good here. Same for Aphelios. I, I, I feel like... I feel like when you have appeal support, Janet Lulu, I don't think you actually want GA. 
those because they will be extremely important. As we're looking at setup, G2 seem to be leaning top quadrant, seem to be it's prioritizing not, Baron Vision. It's not it's awful, quadrant. but it's I feel like detected. most situations That's aren't going to come down to you having GA or not. Is the target of Shun and Bin gets the third Q. Yagao tagged, stepping backwards. Waiting for the nature's cross until that's thrown down. I don't believe the fight is happening. They're trying to see if they can 30 seconds on Elder. LG before Elf can really swap over. You can see him desperately trying to get to his red and white. Needs to get rid of the Infernum if he wants to do so. G2. Dude, this thing's going to die instantly. Howling Gale will throw up Shun Prison. It's unavailable, Mickey. And they should just turn. Exhausted nature's cross is down. All right, they're killing it. All right. He does so, but the Baron is secured by G2. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Right, this shit looks like GG, bro. They... Oh my god. I mean, they gotta stop BLG from attempting it. Yeah, uh, they don't want... Oh, 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 oh. Hunt, hunt. They're fine, they're fine, they're fine. He's unshed. Shun. Okay, there we go, GG. They need a wave though, bot lane. I think they have bot lane. Yeah, they got bot lane. Uh, I mean... Jax is up. They should let Hans hit the wave. Just straight to full. There you go. Do they end? I think so. They should. Jinx base killing pressure is so high. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I thought Jax might do a little more than that, honestly. <laughs> Fucking died instantly. Holy. He died so fast. Dude, Elk actually hard through that game. Goddamn. You misstep? No, that was a fucking giga throw. So you're telling me Janna was actually a real pick? Not hooking in the enemy tank into your whole team to get Lulu ulted? I think you actually do have to team fight right now. Like, you can't split. You literally have to be able to team fight or you lose. Like, your skill as a team is team fight or BG. Darius! I don't know how this matchup goes. Thoughts? Darius wins until level 18. Why do I feel like you're fucking capping? Why do I feel like you're making shit up? This matchup is ass for Janna for a bit. Lou so, does so much damage. This is pretty much how it's supposed to go early. Yeah, you just made this up, dude. I think he would have said that regardless of how the matchup went. Uh-oh. Ooh! Got Broken Blade. BB. Go Yike! BB! Yike! target of Shun. Takes a crushing blow to the face. No movement from mid lane as yet. That mist has dropped down and Yike is able to escape. What I will say though is that when I do think of that Oh my god. Darius, I think of game one loud. Oh my god. Was able to absolutely take over the game. Oh my god. Right now it's going to be asked to do the same thing. Hans Summer, Eye of the Storm on. Trading back a little out of consumables for both of the respective bot laners. Yike now trying to hold uh. Oh my god. Okay. Huh. Oh my god. Oh! Holy shit, man. This game got me doing butt Kegel exercises. Uh huh. Uh huh. That sounds nice, man. 
Team Esports see this one out and start to back away. Had they gone for the dive, problems could have arisen. Uh oh. Does he sniff? Oh! Look for the charm, look for the charm, holding on to it for now. Caps flashes away. It's actually awkward as fuck. The charm still connects. Caps goes down, drops the tip. Oh, Caps is fucking dead. Has a crushing blow. The shield comes up for a second longer and Yagas stays alive. Yikes. Wow. Cheese jungle. Once again, flashes for Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. BB and Ben both get the solo kill. You're telling me Lulu went top lane and is back bot lane protecting bot lane already? Huh? Because on was already I mean, it's well played from uh, Lulu's support to know that he can be a little cringer and flash on. I mean, no, for real, though. Like, Lulu flashing on Yike was actually gross. Coke mixed with Coke. 10% air. Yep, there you go. The words nobody wanted to hear. It's filled with literally nothing. I'm paying for the oxygen in my drink. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on there? Oh! Wait, he gets the kill. Yeah, that dunk did a lot of damage. Dude, Medios is on fucking standby. Game five. He's in the closet right now. About to bust out. Especially once we got to the early game points, enabling Bin and allowing him to actually be a pressure point against the top laner without TP as big as Caps. Uh oh. Again, this time jumped on Wait. Incinerate, summon Tibbers. Are so you telling me Wukong so just wins? Oh! Oh my god, he's so lucky! What the fuck? He fucking crit, bro. What are the odds of that bullshit? G2, where they rotated Hansama because they wanted to the take your ball lane turn. He's so fucking lucky, dude. He's so lucky. To make that happen, BLG are playing this map so incredibly well. He elected to go for the 5v5. Based on what you've seen from BLG in the LPL, Dagda. Dude, that is such an interesting interaction. Darius Jax. You push E, you walk away as Darius. Jax E never hits you. Oh! 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 Kind of awkward for Hans. Wait. Wait. Maybe. Maybe. Oh! Oh! No. Not quite. And that gold lead oh. has been mitigated. The recalls have been cancelled. And G2 is wow. punished, BLG. And immediately, this turret is going to go down. Might get at the very least a charge on the tier 2. And while this is going on, Caps hey. crashes the wave in mid as well. Take a look at that gold difference. Yike, 4, 2, and 1. A thousand Dude, that, hundred gold up. That on ulti a from Viego's Diego. doing a ton of fucking damage, no? power as we saw with that jack skill just in a moment and this was definitely a mistake from blg they overextend on the top side the tp immediately comes in for caps and they just blow up shun yeah it has execute but like look, look at the damage here on jacks he looks like he's fucking 35 percent health or something doesn't he throw down all the bursts that you have because as soon as one member on blg falls it looked like it did so much damage like unless something else hit and i couldn't see it you are not going to lose the team fight, right? And uh, we do see Charge came in on the top side turret. Not able to pick it up just yet, but the gold close to equalize as all. Oh, there's the initiation once more. Bin is dead. 
Yeah, he doesn't even have crit. It has crit scaling, I think. What if it was secretly bugged, like... Vigil. Oh my god. Like, Darius ult just kills you at 100% health, but he's like... He's trying to be subtle about it. So he's just only using it when they're kind of low. To make it not obvious that it's bugged. It's fine, I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bin arrives and he's dead. Oh. No, don't finish it. Alright, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. Flip it. Oh! Oh my god, he got it. The fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was terrifying. They both were over the wall. Run! Get out of there! He steps out G2, get the kills, get the Baronet, get out alive. Gonna be completely happy with that as G2 caps has teleport available, so can afford to split push with Zero that. kill Top jinx. We'll pick that up. James Bond jinx. Into the pockets of G2. And now caps will get the TP in. Zonya's now completed. Wait, he actually G2 missed right local gold on tier two. Three seconds before Shun spawns, as you mentioned. Spellbook is there for you, Gal, but I don't know if you really want That's actually kind of fucked up, but. What the hell is going on here? Oh! Yeah, Elk's fucking dead. Oh! G -G! Actually, Jover, yes. Finally, chat calls it for once. Finally, chat calls it correctly. I'm strolling a little bit. That's a flash down, actually, on Jinx. I mean, it should be fine, but... I was saying, I think BLG should win this series. Don't I look stupid now? <laughs> well, it's how predictions work. You gotta say it before you see anything. Instead of being hindsight herald. And only talking about it afterwards. Fuck yourself. Caps is getting cocked. Why is Hans dead? Bro, his flash was so close. It was down. Oh my... Fucking god. Oh my god. No, that's Baron and Dragon, bro. Dude, that window on Jinx was literally what I was saying. Like, Hans griefed mid, ended up losing his flash and dying, and it actually mattered. Oh, that shit's gone. That doesn't look like it. Oh my god, they're alive. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm done. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's dead. Wait, yike? Yike? Hans? 
trying to find oh. it. Oh! The Rockets, the Pow Pow's all they need. Bane is able to leap away to safety. Barons are being removed from members of BLG. That is crucial oh. for G2 Esports. Oh. The recall coming out. Oh! oh. <laughs> the fucking timer on that. That was close as fuck, bro. Position here as they first move towards the dragon. Chronicles, look at the vision being set up there. A couple wards being pushed into this blue buff area. VLG and G2 moving towards the dragon. But Bane is full control on top side, and you're super early to this. There's still 25 seconds, and Bane is already yeah, in here to, too. They can give it up. What's going on here? They can just say we don't I can't see. We're gonna push in mid. Put threat on towards the it's fucking dark. Has to reset. Capped. Needs to cover the push, and BLG, they're the ones trying to control the midway. Chronicle, is this good for G2 or BLG right now? G2 what are you doing, Nike? Obviously, they've lost the tower. That's what are we doing? But they are risking uh, uh, like broken uh, uh, threatening the ghost, uh, threatening the apprehend, teleporting. Whoa! Stop, 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 stop. Flash. We're not using flash. We're saving flash. Oh, no! Broken blade's dead! No, it's over! It's fucking over! And BLG punish G2 Esports! How? Wow! Breaking mistake to come through the moment that Darius is in the The fuck? Is more than ready to respond. Holy shit! They just lost. Hit the stopwatch instead. I have no idea. BLG. We're the ones that were talking to BLG. We're the ones that have been jumped on, but it's BLG that take down G2. And God BLG damn. Oh. In the series. They were Looks like Sinky was right again. From advancing in MSI. Sinky was fucking right. Where were you when the first occurrence of this event happened? The first and last. I'm just kidding. This series is close as fuck. G2 first picks Ophelios. Okay, like in the past, Brom has outscaled Nami. But Nami's never dominated so hard early. Early mid. Like she's always been good, but she's never let her AD carry one shot people. Gwagus! Gwagus jungle. Fun fact, they have not changed sides since the series began. G2's been blue side every game. Oh my god, their bot lane just... Maybe an early play both side here. Oh. They don't know that he's there. The step forward. Oh my god. Everything misses. Ball is blessing turning the damage around. And now Alk gets tagged. Two shots and will avoid the stun. Okay. Holy shit. I guess Nami flashed the. Is that going the Brom Q. To slow down. If Elk is actually jumping onto Han Sama when you're trying to go for on a good Han Sammy. Look at Shun. Stepping his way forward will be inside the. Now they're fine. For G2. The Aqua Prison's available. Unbreakable comes up. Oh, oh, heartbreaking. Slash, bro. Mickey throws the flash away. Oh. Ticking, burning. Nope. Mickey somehow stays alive. I held my breath when Shun was talking. Easy. Somehow Mickey escapes, but now no summoners whatsoever for BLG. Hans Summer holding on to his too. And Walking so into that, I right. fuck it. A small CS advantage for Hans Summer. Uh, the fact that you actually burn everything on Elk and he nearly dies as well means that you actually get to stick around here. Ooh. Hans Summer, so we can go to reset. We get to push the wave out, get a nicer back timing, and you can set up for. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well. whoa. All right, Caps trading there into Yagao, putting a lot of damage onto him. He needs to glaze uh, the path away. Hans oh. Summer will be the target. Forced to cleanse already, down to a hundred. Wow. Okay, I'm actually surprised he didn't have the flash. Big win there for BLG. You can see the idea from Han Samuel was I need to crash this wave. I have the Inferno, see what I can do. But I kind of felt like he was going to die there. Means that Elk and on will catch that since he didn't flash the W. This away from Han Samuel, Mickey. Look at the rotation. Mickey is coming up as Does well. Does this work? 
Yike already showing presence. Up top in the bottom lane. Body slam. Oh, wow. The W out. Okay. That was so easy. What the fuck? And they managed to take some plate damage as well. And you go. Even flashing the effect, right? Losing his flash. I'm actually surprised. And this is one of the downsides that we see, right? When you rotate people. Why is it so easy? Different lane just to try and get the best matchup possible. He beats him mid there as well from Yagao or from uh, Bin Redder. Uh, so means that oh, they're going in aggressively here. Elf going back, shot is on vision. So G2 feels confident here. Should be able to get in the wave as Shun walks up. That relentless pursuit coming in clutch. Shun will get a target. Gets killed this dude's dead as fuck. What? A very Pause the fucking game. Wait, dude, Brahm is 2 and E. No, 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 Level 4. No, no, no. Production has just informed me that On has reported having issues with his biscuits. Tournament officials are currently in biscuits. investigating the issue. And while they the hell? Do so, I'll give you that info. But I will say that as that pause hat came in, is there a biscuit bug? The gank attempt onto Shun, which did result in the kill. We're getting back We're in into game? the game. Quick shot, finally. Thank you so much. Thank so, you very much, London. We are back okay, so Viego game. died. Seven minutes on and they're the just if you after it. Us, thank you for your patience. Thank you for. I guess. With us. This has been mostly individual picks, uh, combined with a nice play on the top side of the map. But this first Herald fight, pivotal for BLG. Let's see if they're going to be able to achieve much here. G2 already moving in. Mickey's there. Well, they see Gage Gal goes with a glacial path forward. Ring of Frost goes Rum is fucking dead. Fall. Kill secured by Shun's Viego. The Herald down to 1400 hit points. Ons arrive to the fray. The ebb, the flow, the aqua bridge. Wow. BLG. What the hell? They pick up the skirmish. What just well, happened? Thank you. Very clear answer. BLG was aware of the fact that they needed to win that skirmish, and they did decisively. Oh. Shigao does get caught. Oh my god. He He's fucking Cash dead. Oh! Maybe not. Oh my god. What is Nami doing here, man? He's cheating! Because that is a flash, a heal gone from on, and also a flash from Yagao, so that helps a little bit with making you... a lot of gold for Jace. What just happened, because BLG got the kills on Viego that they so desperately need, and immediately throws down the Herald Mint. All right, very quickly is the engagement... Oh, he's dead, he's dead. Oh! Oh! Did not see how he got smoked. At around six minutes forty, BLG pause reporting a potential bug impacting On's ability to utilize his biscuits. League officials attempted to resolve the bug through multiple avenues, including the Chrono Break. The issue is not resolved, but League officials have determined that we will play on. And I do think it is game on. I want to empathize with the players. Can AD carry start building collector again? What on the new items? So I don't know. To get it, I you can't build it here. You're trolling, trolling if you build it here. To get that middle turret down, make things a little bit easier. Open up a long lane for Elkin on. To start chasing members down in this. Oh! Melee missed. Melee missed. Melee missed. Uh, you know, even more opportunities to push into BLG jungle. The jung the dragon is spawning. The LG three members stack towards the middle lane. Rift Hell instantly dropped the game. That's both of them pretty quickly thrown down, and will allow the reposition. Caps is already in the river. Broken Blade used that teleport just a little bit ago. Red White has just timed out before the dragon fight. Yike stepping forward, level. Oh my god. All out throw, oh! Breaker away. Wait. Stays alive, but it's Elk that fights on Summer. What? G2 Esports are so split up. What? He's able to cull him down. Now Caps in and amongst the fray. Dude, the UI was so fucking broke. Oh my god, it's over. No G2 to finish the fight. You can't. Fight on these spikes. All BLG what? at this point in the game is fight you. Try and get a kill. Try and start a skirmish. And G2 is saying, yeah. How sure. did Mr. Hans just get cocked? An elk showcasing the lethality of this Lucian. Was he asking for it? Oh, so much damage. The Unbreakable's buying time. Bin, however, is not No, done. even the Brom is dead. The Yo, hit the fucking attack. There you go. Bitch. We're playing on the infernal rift and Hunt Sam has been able to respawn with the Gwen. With I'm watching Aphelios. Everything here starts off with them trying, and if you actually kill Shun, he just dies to the calling. With Elk, Where is his team? Like, 
you're not going to win the fight. You need that damage. And dying up with flesh and cleanse shouldn't happen. Not in a million years. I mean, Gale Force They didn't even really commit really anything, bro. Coming through from on as well. Like, you basically are caught between the rock and hard place. You got Where the, the fuck is Braum? Why is Braum diving? Whatever, man. Let's make up for it. Fuck it. I'm sick of losing. Fuck this shit. Cassante and a Braum, your Aphelios should never die like that, right? So Illusion is taken down. Oh, I mean, look at this. Hans Sam is the target. The culling this time round is blocked by the Unbreakable. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Revolution's so fed. How can these fucking LPL eighty carries get so much goddamn gold? Win every lane and smash. No, I feel like they just get protected so well. I mean, uh, it's so weird too, because like. Yeah, Buell G versus JDG, like Elk, looked just way worse than Ruler. Like Elk looked like he was choking, and then Elk goes up against literally anyone else, and he's in fucking sicko mode, dodges everything. Caps is so fucking dead. Indeed. It's just over. Elks in dicko mode. No, I mean, they just got fucked. It was an elk. Not a deal. Like, I legit think it's just something with LPL games or teams. They just permanently practice team fighting from any fucking condition. Like, they're behind, they're ahead, they're even. No matter what, they team fight. So then they get in these situations where they're forced to team fight or they lose. And they, they're so fucking used to team fighting that they play them well, even if they're losing. That's why I like the the BLG series versus C9, the JDG series. Like that's why they just weren't even close. Like there were some close moments. You're like, oh shit. Fucking. Feel like they're maybe kind of losing and they just want to fight. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like what the hell literally BLG versus JDG just like shows that in its full essence no fucking matter what BLG was still team fighting even if they lost every fight they still were fighting so then when they match up against these teams that like kind of pussyfoot around team fighting they just get smoked because they're not always ready for it like most of the time the western teams so far have like absolutely relied on like some gross misposition to to start a fight but i feel like jdg and blg just kind of like play them out from from most conditions like no one's getting giga caught I mean, you know like occasionally right but in most of the fights no one's getting like crazily caught out so they like they play enough of like the protect the ad carry enough of the dive they know when to go in they know when to help yeah no quick weight lucian it's really interesting to to look at Dude, you know what's crazy too like jet was just talking about like how we're not getting best of one so like seeing g2 play like this isn't like they're not gonna feel as good about their performance but if they were in best of ones they probably would because they would have gotten like a better score overall but 
I don't think you can see this type of analysis without these best of fives. Like, just seeing it dumbed down like the most obvious reasons why these teams are losing. Like, they just have to keep playing these games. It's not play one game versus team, see them again at some point. It's like, play a best of five. You lose, you play another one. You win, you play another one. Lose two, you, you're out. Uh, I'm not trying to, like, flame Jet for saying that, but... I, I'm just saying, like, the fucking... I don't think we ever would have been able to see this type of, like... Con oh my god. This type of conclusion without all these best of fives. Because it, it's not even on, like, the skill of Hans. Or the skill of any individual G2 player. To win these fights. It's just... Their overall ability to team fight as a team is being tested here, and they just lose. They just lose a majority of them. You say free ass boots? <laughs> Buy some time. Oh, but even if you kill Elf, it's already heard. Level 16 grand monster fed as well. They need a miracle here. See what they can do. In steps forward. Snippity snip snip. Shun's gonna back away with that ultimate. The engage forward. Uh oh. Summers the target for now. Yike has been oh, Elk. Elk away. Oh. But Elk stays alive. That stopwatch is buying time. Oh, he's dead. Freeman finds him. But at what cost? Oh. Three members wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe. Oh my god! What the fuck was that Gwyn damage? And the mission is accomplished, but at what cost? Yes, El goes down eventually, but the stop Oh my god. By so much time, and Ben says, hey, I'm here as well. Yo, I'm surprised Elk didn't flash after that stopwatch. BLG handled the laning pressure from Yike. And the challenge from G2 Esports and BLG. Momentum matters, and that pause killed it. Wrong, 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 God damn. I liked watching that. I wouldn't call it a close series, but did you give a fight? And they the last of the West? Oh my God. I knew NA was puggers.